the Colts and the Dolphins. Dolphins trying to avoid 0-2 start for the fourth straight year. Peyton Manning and the Colts heading back to Land Shark Stadium for the first time since they won Super Bowl 41 versus the Bears. It is Peyton Manning to Dallas Clark over the middle, 80 yards. First play from scrimmage, not a bad way to open up the game, huh, guys? Yeah, that's the, that's the way you get it done. You know, just set a tone and get things going. Little did they know, they wouldn't have the ball all that often all night. They better capitalize. Yeah, and uh, Manny's golf buddy, Tiger Woods, on the <laughs> sidelines. He likes what he sees. Colts on top, 7 nothing. Wildcat back ahead, Coach Mike Marks. Well, it is back. They used it very effectively in this game. Many different formations with it. You know, lead plays, uh, power plays, keepers up inside, belly plays. Solid football, but using that extra play in the Wildcat. Ronnie Brown runs right over Antoine Mathea to tie the game at seven. Second quarter, Dolphins up 13 to 10. Manning, and how about the play of the young rookie, Donald Brown from UConn? 24 yards here. And two plays later on a second and 15, it's Manning looking for his number one receiver in Reggie Wayne. Great play by Jabril Wilson. Or was it Charles? Well, you know, this is quickly becoming the tuck rule in terms of 2009. Is it a catch? Is it not a catch? But by by the letter of the of the law, there you have to possess the ball all the way through the play. In other words, going to the ground with the ball, he didn't have it. Incomplete pass. So uh, the call was reversed, and it's Manning on a third and ten to Dallas Clark for 20 yards. Adam Benatari and not in a field goal. We were tied up at 13 at the break. More Wildcat. Ronnie Brown had 62 yards of his 136 rushing yards off the Wildcat. And now Patrick Cobbs uh, getting into the mix. A whoop whoop there. <laughs> what do you call that, Coach? Whoop whoop. I like it. Jim Caldwell, I'm not sure if that's what he's calling it. <laughs> Fourth quarter, a Dolphin still driving on a third and one. It's Brown. He's in for the touchdown. And Miami just dominating in the time of possession, keeping Peyton Manning and the Colts offense off the field. But the little time that the Colts offense was on the field, they were incredibly effective. They, they, they don't like to waste time. You know, when they get the ball, they want to make sure they, they get it downfield and in big chunks. And how about Brown? Right through Jabril Wilson for a touchdown. Game's tied up at 20. So the Dolphins come right back. And on a third and five from their own 45, it's Pennington to Ted Ginn Jr. Remember, the Dolphin fans booed when this young man was selected ninth overall a few years ago. But he is starting to show signs of promise. It's Pennington again for 21 yards. Led to a field goal and a 23-20 Miami lead. But here come the Colts. It is Manning to Reggie Wayne for 15 yards. And on the very next play, what a game for Dallas Clark. Seven receptions, 183 yards, a record night for Clark. Fourth most yards for a tight end in NFL history. And how about Pierre Garçon? Garçon, the little giddy-up. Garçon does have the whoop-whoop there, doesn't he? <laughs> the second-year player from Mount Union. He goes 48 yards for the touchdown. Colts on top, 27-23. All right, so can the Dolphins rally here? Some clock management issues on this final drive. Uh, head coach Tony Sperano said they had some personnel issues, but it's Pennington again there. And then Pennington now steps up in the pocket to Devon Vessa, 18. So they're moving the ball, Charles. Yeah, they, and, and Pennington is doing a nice job finding the receivers and converting big plays on long-distance downs. Steps up here. Ted Ginn, oh! But he can't hang on. Had a chance there, didn't he? Yes, he did. But look at the Watch coverage this. in the end zone. Dude. He does make a play on the football. All right. Two plays later on a fourth and ten. Game right here if Pennington can't convert. But he comes right back again for a gain of 12. So there are six seconds left. Final play of the game now from the 30. And the Dolphins, they need a little magic. But Antoine Bethea is there to rip it down. The first and only interception of the ball game. Peyton Manning, you saw him there at the baseball hat. He had it on for most of the game because the Colts offense was on the sidelines for basically three quarters in this one. Miami owned the time of possession battle, 45 minutes and seven seconds. But Manning made a count when he had it, 303 yards through the air and two touchdowns. And the Colts are 2-0. They win at 27-23.